So you want to move your project to the app router, but you want to have a nice escape hatch just in case you aren't sure about something that's going on in the app router yet. You're solidifying that knowledge like you've had in the pages router for a long time. Uh, you just want to have something like a little feature flag that you can turn things on and off. So I have my application here in the middle of your screen. You can see I'm in the pages router. And if I go to my about page, also pages router, dashboard, pages router, everything's in the pages router. So let me go back. But like I said, I have in my app folder here, I have some things ready to go so that I can get to the app router. So now I think I'm ready. I want to turn on that, those pages routes. Uh, they're tucked behind a feature flag though. So uh, if I want to, I'll go true here and I'll go true here. I'll save these items and edge configs do take like five to eight seconds to propagate out to the edge. So if I uh, refresh here, you'll see that now I have the app router. I didn't have to redeploy to do this. Uh, this about page isn't into the app router yet, so we can still get to uh, a pages router view there. But I'll end up back in the app router when I go ahead and visit one of those routes. You can see I had dashboard is app there, so I had a flag for that too. And I'll seamlessly have kind of this uh, deployment process where I can have a feature flag to show different pages from different routers. Let me show you what it takes. Three key pieces. First one is a Vercel Edge config. This is a uh, high read, low write key value store. It's not like Redis where you can have high read, high write. This is something that is a little bit special and that it has sub millisecond read times out at the edge. So this is really, really, really fast, but you wanna keep writes to it. Uh, down so it's good for feature flags. It's good for configs that don't change too often But I'm using them for feature flags as you're seeing the second part of this is that we don't have colliding routes in our pages router and our app router We can't have for instance two slash dashboard routes So if we take a look here. This router looks as we would expect dashboard index But up here in app router. I have this future app directory that kind of nests everything that's gonna come in the application underneath there. I can't ever make a dashboard route that is in the app router. Instead, it's going to be slash future app slash dashboard. That may strike you as like, okay, now I'm gonna have slash future app in my routes, right? Well, that's where Next.js middleware is gonna come in for our third piece of this puzzle. So let's build this middleware. We need to make sure that we do probably three pretty important things. First, we need to make sure it runs when folks are requesting the routes that we want to make sure that this middleware runs in front of. Second, we wanna make sure that folks can't visit those future app routes directly. We wanna make it look like they don't even exist. And the third thing is we wanna serve those app router pages when we have our feature flags turned on. So let's take a look at how we do that. First things first, we'll set up our matcher here. We'll do two important things here. We'll make sure that this middleware, as we were mentioning, runs before those future app pages. So when folks try to access them directly, we have this middleware available to use. And the second thing we'll do is we'll run this middleware on paths that we care about when we wanna be enabling these feature flags. So jumping into the middleware code now, uh, the first thing we're going to do, as I mentioned, we're going to protect those routes that are those future app routes. So what we're going to end up doing is any path name uh, from the request that starts with future app, we're going to go ahead and serve a 404. We're going to create a new URL based on theirs, and we're going to rewrite them to that new URL. We're going to show a status of 404 in the HTTP response, and it's going to look like that route just doesn't exist. Now that we've tucked away those future app routes from direct access, let's bring them into the application when we want. So the first thing that we do is we use uh, those flags from the Vercel Edge config SDK here. And what we'll do is we'll just set up some if statements. So if uh, we've enabled that home is app Boolean that we saw from before, and this request is going to the root of our domain, we are going to create a new URL just like we did before, but we're gonna prefix with future apps so that this request gets sent into the app router. Uh, we're going to end with that path name so that we preserve where they were trying to visit, and then we'll go ahead and rewrite them. A rewrite doesn't show uh, the new spot that they're visiting in our application. It just looks like they're visiting you know, uh, acme.com here but we've actually sent them something that came from slash future app uh, path name. So that's really cool. This second if statement uh, is 
essentially the same logic. I just put it in here to show you that you can also capture groups of routes by using a starts with and then the dashboard there. So this is one flag to rule over anything that is in that dashboard. And same exact thing, a new URL prefixing it with that future app and we'll rewrite our user. And so last thing here, if their request didn't meet any of our logic or if we have the feature flags turned off, we just wanna follow the way through and act like uh, that middleware didn't even run. We're just gonna send them that pages version just like nothing ever happened. So there you have it. Those three pieces give you this ability to move into the app router incrementally with the safety of being able to fall back to the application views from your pages router that you know and love. If this was helpful or interesting in any way, then do please follow, like, and subscribe. If you want me to keep doing stuff like this, I totally will but I just need to know that you want me to.